All right, I'm Nick out in the backyard. Get to do an installation tutorial video today. Try to do it all in one take. I'll speed it up so you guys can see, but it'll be step by step so you can pause it and restart the video as needed as you work. Don't get ahead of yourself. Pay attention to the small details. They will make all the difference and they'll make your installation a lot easier. Uh, this is the metal rudder. This is aluminum 6061. This is the raw version. I already got it dirty. I dropped it in the grass. Um, they will be powder coated as well, but I'll go into a different video where I talk about that the options and you'll be able to purchase them on the website. They, if you're watching this, they're already there, okay? Uh, many people have already ordered it, but I wanted to do the installation video so you guys could see how to do it. So it's nice and easy for you. Now, a few things you will need. You will need some wire, right? Probably hard to see. Uh, make sure you don't have any kinks in it, okay? This one I've already used a few times for other various projects. Uh, you're gonna need that. Then you will need Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of diagonal cutters, okay? The goal is to do this as simply as possible, so just follow along. We'll do it step by step. All right, the first step is right here. Now we are gonna put this in the down position, which is backwards to do this job. It's super easy and simple. When you put it in the down position, the left side should be loose and the right side should have tension. That's perfect. You'll come back up here. And in my experience, the left hand screw has been the one that controls the left hand side. That may be a little bit different depending on how it was put together at Old Town. So before you go crazy, just check to make sure you're right. Uh, by doing so, you will just, don't cut this, I'm just using these to get this loosened up. Sometimes they're hard to tear apart because there's been a lot of tension on it over the life of the kayak. Make it a little easier on yourself. Now, to check that, you just pull on it here and then you also go back to the back and pull on it. It should move, don't pull too far. Sometimes it's kind of snug. Oh, you know what, I never loosened it. Haha, -ha. got to talking. I never actually loosened it. Loosen it, unwrap that like so, then come back to the back, give it a little pull. It already started moving. That's perfect. Now you're gonna take your wire, which is very important because we're gonna use it to go through the kayak. You take this, you just push that through here. Don't stab yourself. And all you gotta do is fold it over for now. Going to the rear of the kayak, it's no big deal. As you pull the wire from the rear, or the rope from the rear, the wire will feed through the kayak like so. Nice and easy, don't pull fast. That wire will keep feeding. And then next thing you know, make sure there's no kinks in that. Got it. Next thing you know, you'll hear it coming and then it'll magically appear like so. That is step number one. Okay, for the next step, you're gonna need your screwdriver. The so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that wire we put through here. We are gonna remove it from our rope and then just set that wire around there, like so or wherever. Make sure nobody pulls the wire back through the kayak. It's not ready yet. Toss the rope up here, and then you're gonna remove this screw. No big deal. Just take it on out of there. There is a nut on the back side, like so. Obviously, don't lose that. I always just toss it over here like so, nothing to it. Now you can spread this apart. When you spread this apart, this guy will be able to come out of here. We don't want to do that just yet. We want to show you guys whoop, get back in there. that in this current position, this rope is on top and this rope goes underneath. There's also a little bar right here where you can see that both of the ropes go underneath. Might be tough to see there. You'll be able to see it on your kayak really easily. Now, proper orientation is everything, so you need to make sure this goes back exactly how it is there. You're gonna take your rudder, you're gonna make sure everything is lined up the same. 
you'll be able to move this up, which will, at the same time, move your handle, okay? As it comes up, you can see exactly where this little thing ties off, no big deal. Push it to the up position, like so. You will line this up like this, just like this. This notch should be down in this position, and then you'll be able to see that rope. Our goal is to simply remove this, like so. You'll see those alignment tabs in there. You see where this line comes over the top now, and this line comes out the bottom, just like so. You're gonna take the cord that you loosened, which is the left side, pull it out from underneath that rope, or underneath that uh, little bracket, and you see on this side how it's tied. You're gonna take your diagonal cutters, because there'll be a lot of tension on this stuff from over time you use. Don't make sure you don't cut it. The goal is just to pull on it and get it to loosen up. As it loosens up, you'll be able to just remove this like so. Boom. Now, if you pay attention, see how that has a little loop there? Once you pop this off of here, you just pull it through there like that. Keep that pinched. The orientation of the rudder was like so, with this notch on the bottom. Set that right there. Bring this into play, like so, notch on the bottom. This guy will come in through the bottom. You'll probably have to give it a good little squeeze, like so. Your rope, you'll take that tag in. Give yourself some room to work with. Pull that up like that. Pull this through here. Place the tag in through that loop. Like so. Pull tight there, pull tight here. And our goal in doing this is we'll be super close to having it in the correct orientation, right? That is the goal. This line is going to go back over the top. We're going to put this back in place like so. We'll take this line. We'll feed it into this gap right here. You can just oh, straighten it out a little bit. It'll go, oh, it's not going to straighten out for us, is it? We'll just turn it like this. And the goal is just to feed it out the bottom of the kayak, which is kind of challenging with one hand. Once it comes out the bottom, back in there, you'll be able to pull it down. Like so. Make sure you don't get anything tangled up up here. Pull it through there like so. No big deal. Now we'll go back, we'll take our bolt and screw that we removed. And that's just gonna slide right through here. This has a cavity built in for it for the backside. Push it in, push it through, give it a little tightening. You don't have to make this super tight. Um, the tighter you make it, the more friction there will be on the handle. Just make sure your rope's not pinched anywhere. Tighten it down like so. We can adjust it tighter if we need to later. This rope will now come up underneath that bar, but we're already tightened down so we can just go backwards like so, when you go backwards, you need to pull this rope tight, okay? Pull that rope tight like that, and then walk up here and put this in the down position, which will pull it taut. Now you're in the down position, you're also in the down position back here. You will take this wire, or rope, 
And then the goal is to come back through there. You may need to move this around a little bit. Everybody's gonna do this part a little bit differently. You just gotta get this guy Oop. back through here. It'd be nice if he wasn't so dang bent, wouldn't it? Ooh. Remember, it has to go under my finger stuck underneath oops let's try to get you guys a better angle just so you can see it right in there it has to go underneath that stud just like that one it's gonna take a little bit of effort find a way to get that thing straight would be easier that's for sure All right, let's just do it the smart way. We'll skip this small little step so you guys can see it in real life. We're gonna take this wire, we're gonna run the wire underneath that piece just so it's easy. Didn't have to do this last time, but So you guys can see that there is some small, ridiculous little steps. We're going to take this. We're going to run this through here again. Now we got to do it a little bit different this time than we did it last time. Sometimes it's difficult to get through there. You want it to be as close as possible to the end. And you guys will see why in a minute. Come on. There we go. Now you're gonna take this up here like this and you have to twist it around this time. You need it to be as smooth as possible. Then you're gonna take your cutters and then cut it flush as possible. Now you'll be able to pull that through underneath there easier and we'll get these cables reset how we want. Remember we're in the down position so we should be in the down position up here which will tighten that cable up. Now it's going to be a little bit loose, not a big deal. We're going to adjust that here in a second. We're going to get this pulled through here like so. Now we have our wire and our rope attached. We're gonna come up here, you're gonna pull slowly. You wanna make sure you get this started as smooth as possible, like that. Once it gets started there, you guys are gonna feel a bunch of friction, but you're just gonna move slowly, pull on this nice and slow, if you, get, if you get hung up anywhere, you want to stop, okay? You don't want to keep pulling too hard. And the goal is just to pull on it a little at a time. If you break it off in there, it'll get pain in the butt. It'll get a little stiff as it's feeding through the pulley system. Just nice and slow. Give it some wiggles. Oh, she's right there. It's getting close. And then there she comes, just like that. That's what we wanted. She came out of there pretty good. She didn't come all the way. She's a little bit short, which was on our end when we tied the loop. Oh, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Oh, that right there, that little coil is why we didn't come all the way through. No big deal. We'll just spin that a little bit. Pull it the rest of the way out. There you go, tighten it up nicely. And we're gonna make adjustments to all this in a second. She's got a little bit of kinks in her, a little bit of a little bit of swirls. Boom, nothing to it. Pretty easy. Now we're gonna make some final adjustments, and then your new rudder will be fully functional. <clears throat> down position. Everything's in the down position. You will take your screwdriver. You'll take your dikes. You're going to get rid of this wire. 
last thing you want to do is uh stab yourself with that ask me how I know put that over here we're pretty close to being the same length uh, for now I'm just gonna give her a few more little tugs I'm gonna wrap this around clockwise and we're gonna tighten it down like that now we're gonna give her an operational check fingers crossed right come on up boom oh i didn't tighten that down ah that was funny try to go back down but i didn't tighten it so we'll come all the way forward forwards good backwards not we'll pull that tight and now we'll tighten the other one that we just loosened to ops check all the way down which is going to pull the slack out of that one too now you'll be able to see going down going down coming up coming up then obviously if we were steering she'd land right there nothing to it a little bit of slack there a little bit of slack there not too tight anywhere ideally she comes and she'll fall into position like that you won't have any issues now we'll just tie these guys back up they're a little bit different in length okay the reason they are different in length is because we adjusted them back here when we went to retie this you're going to be a little bit off right what you don't see from a factory is there's a guy who does this with a really long piece of black cord right he adjusts everything and i imagine that cord is at least 12 inches longer he ties it off he gets it perfect and he snips them together that way it's it's easy and it looks pretty but the chances of you getting them dead even it's pretty slim unless you mark it back there with some kind of uh some kind of you know pen or something or marker to have the exact measurements but it's not important <clears throat> tighten that back down like that if you have a cap you'll curl that up curl it back in there mine will just be hanging out like so until i sell this kayak and get a new one all the way down all the way up all right that's it that's how you install the rudder perfectly operational fully functional i kind of just did it in all one moving piece i said i was going to do it in steps but i wanted you guys to see that there are little tiny issues you will have you'll have to make small little adjustments uh but i think it took me i don't know 10 minutes or so and that was on film you'll be able to do this very easy by yourself i had to hold the tripod and the camera while I was doing most of this stuff. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. You guys won't have any issues. If you do, just send me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com. Leave a comment, give me a call, do what you gotta do. I have FaceTimed with multiple people in the past to help fix their rudder problems. If you have an issue, don't hesitate to reach out. If you guys are gonna order it, thank you. Um, obviously we have it in the, I kind of actually think it looks kind of good just in the the non-powder coated version. I, I wasn't sure if it would look too great, but I think it looks turned out really, really well. Uh, the powder coated versions will be black and obviously they will match the kayak a little bit better and the rudder system. However, that is that. No more uh, crazy flex under pressure of the plastic rudder. And I know I am thrilled about that and I look forward to using this on the water more often. I've been using the plastic rudder. Eh, ugh, I don't like it. So that would be a a mandatory upgrade to all of my kayaks that I fish from anyways. Yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.